Writer-performer Kea Wilford and director Roberta Uno recently spoke with Pacific Networks about their new co-created work titled Island. They also shared the process of collaborating with hip-hop choreographer Rockefeller and Kumuhula Robert Casimiro. <laughs> so we met in hula class because I was a hula student at the Hawaii Cultural Foundation and Kea was assisting Michelle Aquina, the teacher. Um, so that's originally how we met. I could see that he was an extraordinary dancer. Um, and then we got together and realized we both had theater backgrounds and started talking. One of the first things that we talked about when um, we started the process was like, you know, I would really like to see like a hula and then like a hip hop thing and hula and going across the stage mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, I'm just the person. The first year we worked oh, for a week with mm -hmm. Rockefeller. We worked at the White Oak um, Dent Residency Center down in Florida, Bershnikov Center. And then, um, then we went to Italy to, to La Mamma Umbria and worked with Robert for a week there. And then we repeated the same thing the second year. And so with that particular piece, we had the music that we wanted to, you know, we knew we wanted to intersplice those two, so we had them both mm -hmm. do choreography. Originally, um, the concept was to do hula to the hip hop music and vice versa. And um, it turned out that we keep them in their perspective musical styles because both have the validity of being innovative in their own right. I also want to say that this kind of same respect that you know we talk about um, with with hula and Hawaiian culture that I also felt that we had to have with hip hop culture and that you know just like hula has um, gone global you know there is something that started very local in the Bronx which then became very globalized. We wanted to show Kale's ability to code switch, and just like he, you know, the you see the scene where he as an actor can switch from pigeon to standard English, which is a real skill. Like that's a duality that is about having a double kind of cultural heritage. And so rather than blend those two things, we really wanted to show like the fluency between the two and that both exist in the same person. It's two years later, and I am now in hula class, being taught one-on-one -on -one by hula god himself. Okay, bro, you know how that is. could have put all our time on researching everything so that we could really explain everything to the audience and the audience would walk away going, now I know that, you know, this dance, Ala Anohea, is about X and this is what this symbol means and this is what this motion means. But we really didn't want to do that. We felt that um, that would be like giving away, um, giving away culture, like, you know, you buy, buy a ticket and you come in and, and we give you a how-to kind of tourist guide to something. We really wanted to show them how much they don't know, by, but not in a hostile way, you know, by opening this much of a window so that they would see there's a whole universe beyond it. One of my goals with this play is that when you see Keo at the end dancing Kalikilani, you will know something of what it took for him to get there, to be there. So that any time, hopefully, that you would then again see somebody dancing, whether it's hula or any other heritage-based art, you will know that that's a person who's also part of a contemporary reality. And also the piece is not a quote unquote a hula piece. This piece is not about hula. Hula is a part of me which is a part of the story. And so um, it, it, it's it's less about the the certain terms or specifics of hula and just more about the experience. <laughs> 